Hello from 4 Chemistry, this is a video number one for your chapter 8, page number one. Okay, and what I will title today will be alloy. Always mean by alloy in Chinese, we call he jing. Okay, or when I say alloy, alloy in the classrooms, the students normally they will follow my sounds and they will say yap alloy, yap alloy, yap alloy. So this is yap alloy in your history, in your history, yap alloy from Kuala Lumpur. But today our alloy is not related to yap alloy. So what is alloy? What is alloy? Don't copy. Don't copy. Don't copy. So alloy is a mixture. A mixture of matter with another matter. Or non-matter. So what is mean by alloy? What is alloy? Alloy actually is a mixture. Between the matter and another matter. 一种金属跟一种金属混合 okay? Or maybe the pure matter add together with the non-matter Or maybe the matter mix together with the non-matter So this is alloy 一种金属掺到另外一种金属要不然就另外一种金属掺到非金属也可以 But this answer we not, we not accept this answer in your chemistry exam So don't copy, eh? 不要去抄 Okay, so alloy actually is a matter plus another matter. 金属掺到其他的金属, so we call it a mix. Or pure matter add together with another non-matter, you can use a mix. But the best for chemistry, page number one, our first image, you copy here. What is mean by alloy? What is alloy? Chemistry, we having a better answer. We have a better answer, more professional, more professional answer. Copy. What is alloy? Okay. You copy first. I explain in detail. So alloy actually is a mixture of two or more elements. Okay, a mixture of two or more elements, 两种或者是更多种的元素混合，混合 not combine chemically， 它只是混合罢了。With certain fixed compositions, when they mix together, they having certain fixed composition. 它们有固定的比例。没有乱乱掺的 ，in which the major component is a matter. Okay, 虽然有固定的比例，两种或者是更多种的元素混合 ，but the major component inside is a matter. 里面最大的成分一定是金属。Okay, so the sentence actually tell you very clear what is mean by alloy. 已经讲得很清楚，很清楚。So any example from this sentence, I tell you the meaning of the sentence. Okay, so any example carbon steel. Carbon steel, you call gang, gang steel, gang, gang steel, gang. It is just gang steel. It is like carbon steel. Okay, so carbon steel made up of ninety nine percent of ions plus one percent of carbons. It has ninety nine percent of ions plus one carbon, one percent of carbon, plus one percent of carbon. So carbon steel actually is an alloy. It is just a mixture of two or more elements. It has 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 two or more elements. Next, alloying always mean by alloying, alloying, not yep, alloying. Not alloying means the process of making alloy. So the process, so the process of making alloy we call alloying. Copy on your notes. The process of making alloy we call alloying. Just to make alloy. But why we having the process called alloying? Or why we making alloy? Or why matter must mix together with other matter or maybe non matter? Why is it the best? Pure is it the best? Pure is not good, right? Why is it the best? So, what can we do with alloying? Alloying changes the properties of pure matter. Yeah, when you're making alloy, it changes the properties of pure matter. When you're making alloy, it changes the properties of pure matter. When you're making alloy, it changes the properties of pure matter. And the properties of pure matter become what? 你的金属，普通金属 ，pure matter， 它会变成怎样呢 ？Number one， the pure matter become more resistant to corrosions。你的金属更耐腐蚀。Okay， always meaning become more resistant to corrosions。它比较耐腐蚀，它不会生锈
any example okay iron actually can rust easily tear 很容易生锈 if this is a pure iron you are just a 纯真的铁了 you put in front of your mouth with high temperature and with the water where put in oxygen ha 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 after a few minutes 几分钟过后 you maybe can see some brown color here 看到一点点的可可色 why rusting 它在生锈 But if you add one percent of carbon into the iron, you 在铁里面加一 percent 一 percent 的碳呢 ，they will become steel. 它就会变成钢。And steel, carbon steel, it can, it is more rust proof. 它比较耐焊生锈 ，it still can rust, but it will be more corrosive, corrosive resistant. 它比较耐腐蚀，它不会生锈的，比较难呢。Maybe three days, 可能三天。可能要三小时了 ，OK。So this is the reason we making alloy. So 为什么制造 alloy? Because the pure metal can become more resistant to corrosion. 我们的纯正金属呢，它比较耐腐蚀。So making alloy, 制造 alloy. Number two, stainless steel, for example, 不锈钢 ，OK. Iron plus nickel plus chromium plus others. So after you making the irons become what? 当你把你的铁呢变成不锈钢的时候啊 ，you see the appearance shining, 发光发光，对不对 ？So it having a better appearance, 比较美。So you can sell the product. Besides corrosive resistant, 除了不会生锈以外 ，the appearance improve, become better, 对不对？它的外表呢也进步，变得更好看。Okay, so this is another reason we making alloy. 我们做 alloy 的另外一个原因啦。Or any example, brass, 黄铜 Okay, from copper. 黄铜就是铜做的 So brass made out of copper. 铜变成黄铜 And see, it's corrosion free. 它就不会生锈了，对不对 ？Copper can rust. Copper 会生锈的。But brass, 黄铜就不会生锈 And besides this, shining, shining, look like gold. 它看起来像金 Or sunshine. 你以为它真的是进来的 ，OK？ So the appearance will be improved. 它的外表呢会突然间变得很美丽。So why make making alloy? 为什么做 alloy 呢 ？Alloy have a shinier and more attractive appearance. 它比较发光，比较美丽，它的外表比较好看。So this is the reason we having alloy. 我们做 alloy， 这就是它的原因。Next, why making alloy? 为什么做 alloy 呢？ Okay, iron. If you mix something, 铁你加一点点东西 ，it become the spot ring. 它变成汽车的那个跑车轮圈，对不对 ？So alloy rings for sport car, it lighter, okay, and stronger. 它比较轻，它也比较强，又轻又强。So that's why making alloy it become harder. Or aluminium, aluminium can making the alloy called duralumin. Aluminium can be turned into another alloy called duralumin. And the duralumin, besides light, it has less corrosion. And also corrosion resistant, it will not break. Too light will not break. Too heavy. So making the aircraft body can be used as a body. So why are we are making alloy? Why are we making alloy? To make the pure metal become harder, to make the pure metal. Become harder, 变得比较强 So pure iron, 纯正的铁 actually is very soft, you know. 它很软的，真的 Not suitable to making anything, to make anything. 不适合做任何的东西 But when aluminium become real aluminium, iron become steel, they become harder. 它就变成比较硬了 So this is this are the reason for us in alloy. So alloy making the pure metal become harder. 他们他把我们的纯正金属呢。变得比较硬 ，so this is what we call alloy and alloying. Understands? Set the goddamn. See you in the next title. Okay. So why at adding something into the pure metal and the ions, the pure metal can become suddenly better, more appearance? 为什么会这样子呢 ？Become harder? 奇怪，对不对 ？So next title, we follow you, or you follow me in the next video. 了，拜拜，谢谢你。